Hey, this is Steve Wimet. One of the things that I get to do in my career, and I love doing these, are re-records. Uh, I started back in 2007 with Guitar Hero and did that uh, until the conclusion in 2010. And then I uh, did 55 covers for Rock Revolution from Konami. And for the past 10 years, I've been working with Ubisoft on the Just Dance franchise doing covers and original tracks for the game. So uh, recently, Ubisoft got in touch with me and they were looking to do a cover of an old 18, late 1800s Italian protest song called Bella Ciao for uh, the flamethrower section of Far Cry 6. Um, however, because this wasn't going to be an Italian song, it was going to be a Latin American flavored version, the brief called for uh, a completely different instrument set than what you would have heard in the Italian version. Uh, and a completely new set of lyrics written in Spanish. I thought it'd be fun to go through the process of the brief to the demos to the final product. So let's go take a look at this. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to talk about the original version I was sent along with the brief. Uh, this is the most, pretty much the most popular version of the Italian uh, version of the song. So here we go. mattina mi sono alzato oh vela ciao vela ciao vela ciao 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 una mattina mi sono alzato e ho trovato l'invasore so you can see that is very clearly not a latin american inspired version of the track um, I took a crack at it, and the first thing that I did was change all the instruments out. This is all MIDI, by the way, or virtual instruments. So we have percussion, cowbell, bass. I did play the nylon acoustic and uh, three trumpets. So that was the uh, original first stage demo that I put together just so we had a baseline. Um, and it ended up that that particular sound was going to be too mariachi and not really in line with uh, what Ubisoft was looking for. And it was deemed that really what this needed was a salsa. And this is where uh, I brought in Lucido Munoz and we started working on the demo together to get uh just a different flavor and so here is uh an excerpt from the initial demo between the two of us uh and him singing the melody line with no lyrics and these are all virtual instruments <laughs> So now you can see things really did change and that was when we had a solid foundation to work with uh, for the track. So those were really the initial demos. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the master session where I have all of the live instrumentation and the various loops. All right, now we have the uh, main session with all of the live instruments. And just to give you an idea, we have uh, various loops. We have what I call the guitar loop. We have a 90 beats per minute loop, which is actually the same as the guitar loop in tempo, but with slightly different uh, instrumentation. The piano is, um, in this one, the piano is actually the lead instrument, while 
in the guitar loop the nylon string guitar is and there are three other loops we've got 102 beats per minute 107 and 112. the reason that there are three different loops uh, of the main version of the track is because as the intensity of the game builds in the action they wanted to be able to step up the speed but not a lot i mean we're we're talking about five beats per minute in, in incremental jumps um, the first two main loops have Lucido singing all of the, the various uh, parts and then the final loop at 112 actually has and you can kind of see this if we go over um, you can see that there's a trumpet solo and then right here the trombone solo so we'll get to that in a minute let's go back to the guitar loop and I'm going to show you what the guitar loop sounds like without the guitar to start with. Okay, so you get the idea here. Very simple piano part spelling out the chord progression uh, along with the bass. Uh, the percussion is really the star here as far as I'm concerned. You have 10 different percussion instruments, conga, bongo, uh, giro, uh, timbales, maracas. There's all sorts going on here and uh, they're expertly played. However, in this particular one, the guitar is the it's the lead instrument, so to speak. So here's what the loop sounds like with the guitar melody. And then there's a little tag at the end before it loops again. So you can hear right here. And that's pretty much that loop. That sets up the, the sound of the, the scene. This is before anything's actually happening. You've just entered that area. So that's the first loop. The, the second loop really uh, with the piano is, is very similar, but it was a little bit more, uh, a little more complex. here it's a little bit more loungy and that's used it's just not used as much as the the main loop uh, for the guitar so uh, then we get to the 102 beats per minute loop and let's take a listen to this I won't do it in its entirety but I'll get you the idea he despertado Encadenado, oh, vela, chao, vela, chao, vela, chao, 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 la tierra mía me la han robado y han incendiado mi país. Abran sus ojos, hay un tirano, oh, vela, chao, vela, chao, vela. And here's something really important. Uh, the harmonies are just beautiful in this. Let me, uh, let me just go ahead and sh show you that section. So this really is now a very, a very inspiring section that is not in the full action, but it's definitely now you really feel like you're in it for that environment. Um, I'm going to go to the main loop, and this is what is heard on the soundtrack, the sounds of uh, Yara, and I'm going to just kind of cycle through some different parts while you listen. Ahora 
abran sus ojos Hay un tirán ¡Tirano! ¡Desde! ¡De nasa de Really, really cool. Um, everybody was just phenomenal players in this session. Um, okay, and I think probably one of the most interesting things for me was when we get to really kick up the heat here at 112 beats per minute. This is, you know, now it's flamethrower blazing, and we're away from the vocals, and we have this amazing trumpet and trombone solo. So I'm going to play those, and I'll solo them up here and there. So, as you can see, uh, there are quite a few moving pieces uh, in this. Um, we have guitars, 10 different uh, percussion instruments, bass, piano, and a whole bunch of brass, trombones, trumpets, berry sax, and a couple of vocals. And uh, that's pretty much how the whole thing came together. You're seeing the master session. Uh, everybody did such a great job on the recording that there was very little needed to do on the EQ side. I did add... Uh, let's see, I did add some various uh, tape emulation and we have various room reverbs. I've got a plate, I've got a, an echo, I've got another room reverb and a couple of more, uh, I got a slap and a delay going on. Um, so just a brief overview of that and I think that pretty much gives you an idea of what went on through the sessions. Okay, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I really enjoyed going back and taking a look at the, the tracks and all the different uh, details. It's, uh, it's fun for me. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more content, please subscribe to the channel and make any comments down uh, below and I'll be happy to answer them. So have a great week. Thanks again.